good morning goddesses and queens it is your girl ye welcome back to another day of the vlog it is saturday october the 8th child so last night we didn't do much or whatnot and today honestly we don't have much to do i am i am up already because um i had to drop off my car to the dealership because it's been giving me some problems <clears throat> you guys know that besides the tires it's been other little problems so I finally dropped it off to the dealership, to Honda dealership, so they could take a look at it. I had an appointment this morning, and I was going to steal my mama car, but my mama car sound suspect. Sound like it'll drop me off, leave me hanging in the street. So, we're not doing that. We're not going to do that. So, we're going to um, actually, the hubby have to work to, this morning, so we're going to drop him off to work. Do our appointment and then pick him up and come back home because y'all hear the car? Can y'all hear that? No, it sounds worse than my car, baby. No, we just not doing that. So, <laughs> so mom, you ain't gotta worry about me using your car, girl, because I'm scared. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's the plan, y'all. My appointment was at 9:45. I'm actually um think about starting school so I was gonna meet one of the advisors um, but it's now 10 o'clock and we having car issues so I am still gonna go hopefully he still can see me but I feel like every time I'm trying to do something positive something stops me so I'm not gonna allow this to stop me I'm gonna you know um, do this meeting or whatnot but yeah, so that's the tea right now. So we about to go inside. The hubby getting ready. We about to go inside. I'm about to turn off this car. And we gonna leave this car alone. So see you guys in a minute. y'all i got a headache i don't know what's going on but i enrolled in school i'm so happy for myself y'all i've been really debating about going to school for about two years honestly and keep in mind these are short courses this is like a year course and i've been debating it because honestly i'm not one to go to school like I don't like school I don't like going to school I never have liked going to school um but as I got in older and want more for myself I noticed like girl you gotta go to school you know you gotta go to school especially if you want more for yourself and I'm one to tell you like even coming out of school I was like you know find your degree find find your career first and then go to school and to me, I still like, I still feel that way. Like find your, your career in a sense of find a field that you're interested in and grow from there. And if growing requires you to go to school, do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I, and I wish, and to this day, I probably wish I would have went that route because say for example, you start working at a bank and you see opportunities at a bank, what you gonna do? You gonna go to school for banking. So at least you're already in that field and you're gonna be going to school for that field. Or even if you're in banking and you notice that banking is not for you, you're gonna have enough experience in the out world, you know, in the outside world to know like, you know what? I think I wanna look into being in cybersecurity or whatever the case may be, in criminal justice. So you know what? I'm gonna go to school for criminal justice because I see an opportunity that I can go for if I have this degree. But for you to come straight out of high school and go into a college and not knowing what's really out there and you're putting yourself in debt pretty much because you know, biz that's business maybe. Um, I think it's kind of blind going at it blindly or whatnot but at one point I believe that you didn't need school at all and that is not true um, but yeah so I enrolled in school and 
y'all it's for my masters okay so like i ain't enrolled in school and i'm so proud of myself so i'm gonna call y'all right back what's that it's the, the food that that's the sub and shit they have for us we going somewhere to eat because i'm hungry i eat that sub oh we can oh we get some starbucks and something we can get some starbucks okay so yeah, so um, the advisor was really nice. Everything, everything was really nice. Um, I didn't have to do a, a, a acceptance assessment because my GPA was pretty good uh, when I went to college. A few, over when I got my bachelor's child, so that was pretty good. So yeah, hopefully everything works out. He's gonna be reaching out to me once um you know the office go for my paperwork and stuff like that he'll be reaching out to me but if i do get accepted and everything goes well let me, let me go pee real quick okay babe. but yeah y'all so that's that like i'm low-key nervous as fuck because i haven't gone to school in forever <laughs> But I'm excited at the same time. It's like, bitch, what is you, what are you, what? You gonna go to school for your master's home? Like, <laughs> anyways, I'm proud of myself, y'all. I'm nervous as fuck, but I'm proud of myself. And yeah, like, I don't know, 2024, it's looking very, like, very another transition in my life, but like some bomb some boss ass transition you know what i'm saying like you know how you go in transition in your life and you're becoming a child to a woman and this and that but you still like struggling and stuff like that like you still like going through the struggles but at the same time you're transitioning but to go go through a transition where you're act actually like bossing up and glowing up spiritually financially emotionally all that shit if it's a different type of transition it's like it's like it's like you know how when you go to school right all that studying and shit like that that's a transition that's you going through for you for what so you could get that what degree or that diploma right and then you finally get that degree and that diploma and then you finally get that job that dream job that you was you know type of stuff that's how it feel like in life in general for me you know what i'm saying like lat next year is a lot going on um but it's a lot of other stuff going on too which i'll be talking to you guys about too because y'all like it's a lot but i'll be talking to you guys because at this point it's a lot and um I'm not ready to talk about a couple of things, but we'll be talking about it. Yeah, I'll be seeing bits and pieces. But girl, we about to go have breakfast. And I'ma talk to you guys later. Please, I wanna make sure y'all see me good, child. What's up, y'all? Child, we are when was the last time we spoke? I don't know if it was Oh, I spoke to y'all after I left the school today. I did. I did spoke to y'all after I left the school. Um, after I left the school, I had we went to have breakfast, and then um, then from there we came home. I was supposed to pick up my car from the dealership girl from Honda. They called me. I must have fell asleep or something. They called me whenever they called me. Girl, I did not answer. And by the time I seen the call, it was after they closed. So that being said, I'm going to call them early in the morning to, um, to, um, pick up my car. Today I have to pay, or, you, or tomorrow when I pick it up, I have to pay, and I'm gonna make my payments little by little. How much do I have to pay? I paid one seventy. I think he said one fifty. So three hundred and twenty. That's gonna cover trans fluid and the battery. They gave me a new battery, and they and they um cleaning up my trans transformer fluid or something like that then um probably in about two weeks 
I need to get my seat belts together, which is $418. Then I got to get all five tires done, which is about $600. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get... I'm going to look at my calendar, but I want to get it done after, like at the end of the week, end of the month. So I'm going to look at my um, budgeting to see what, because I be having things like written down, especially like my big bills. Like, um, I'm going to get um, Mariah Christmas gift next month. I'm going to get, um, trying to get the tires fixed. Um, I want a new stove. Um, and then we planted something, um, big that we have to put the deposit down for. So all the, like, all, like, my big bills and stuff and my big things that I have to, that's, like, you know, a little money, honey. Um, I try to write it down so I could be able to knock it out one at a time. But then when you have stuff that pop up like this it be like dang and I be sometimes I be so irresponsible that I be wanting to pay all that shit off like right now type stuff and just do it all and then be in the pickle for about six what six months but at least everything is done but when you do stuff like that it doesn't mean life not gonna stop life and, and other emergency is not gonna happen and next thing you know you're paying off you know, previous emergency, you're trying to catch up from previous emergency, and while you're still trying to catch up from previous emergency, new emergencies are happening, so now you have double emergency going on. Am I the only one that feel that way? I know y'all gotta feel me, so that's why it's better off to plan things out instead of putting all your eggs in one basket, and then you just, you know, you have wiggle room. So if anything does happen, you already have a some, some type of schedule going on with your previous emergency. And then, you know, the new emergency come on and you be like, okay, well, you know what? I can still do this with this type of stuff. But sometimes I just want to get all that shit out of the way, honestly. But anyways, we bought a new hookah. We bought a new hookah. Um, The hubby want to go out. I honestly am not in the mood to go out. I don't feel like getting dressed and getting pretty and doing all that stuff. I really not. I'm not in the mood. I I have become officially a homebody girl. I, or if I'm not a homebody completely, I'm becoming a homebody. I'm becoming a homebody girl. And I don't be wanting to go out. Honestly, I really don't be wanting to go out. So... That being said, I just was like, babe, I don't want to go out. Can we do chill at the house and turn up? Like, it's the same thing. My thing is, we're going to go out and spend $150 tonight. Then we're going to want to get dressed and probably go out and eat tomorrow. So, which be, be a hundred, another. Let's just buy everything that we need so we could catch a vibe at the crib in our own comfort or whatever. And, you know, at least we home comfortable. I don't know, girl. I just, I'm just not in the mood to see people and be socializing. I just want to be chilling at the crib. And that's that, child. Well, hold up. How does this go? Don't something else comes here? We might have to go back to the hookah spot. Oh, am I tripping? Let me um figure this out because don't where the chimney go at or does the chimney go is that how you say it child I just I probably just made up that name I'm trying to figure out how to do this thing girl 
Girl, let me figure this out. I'm going to call y'all back. What you So we got the hookah going. Mm -hmm. They okay. chilling. Oh, yeah, you like the flavor? Good. The flavor we got is called Magic Love with Mint. So that's what we. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, but it smells good too. Two, it only take two coals and it's and it's yeah. eating good. How much this was for? Letting know for eighty nine dollars probably plus tax, probably like ninety dollars for, it, and then the stuff to us about it can't all came out to what like one, one forty, one forty two. If, so if you got 142, so now you can use that instead of going, um... <laughs> he going in, yeah. ain't he? <laughs> you know, good thing, well, how much it cost to go to the hookah spot, right? I broke that down to them already. Oh, okay, okay. So I got an idea. We can buy like three more of these, five more of these, two of them. We're going to do it. You ready? Hey, yeah. They know me. Stop playing, man. I, I, I'm going like, to, um... Get the settings together and we editing and we watching. What we doing today? We watching Toby movie. What we doing? Music and Toby. Music and Tubi. <coughs> Tubi. Tubi. Oh, baby, we got the um, we got the, the speaker. Mm -mm. Where is it? We, we that one? I thought we lost it. That little no, that um, Tiffany speaker. Oh, it's in the back, charger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That speaker, baby. All right, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put y'all there. I'll be right there. Right I want a real, a real setting. Come on. Oh Jesus, help me out. Good morning, goddesses and queens. It is a girl, ye. Welcome back to another day of the vlog. I'm just checking in. It is Sunday. Um, I don't know what day today. I think it's October the 15th. Um, just woke up listening to um, TG Jakes on Sundays on live. You guys know I've been wanting to try to go to church um, for the last two to three weeks and honestly there's no reason why I haven't gone to church um, this week or last week but for the last two weeks I've been turning on the TV and just listening to the sermon and it definitely has been helping um, fulfill that void of going to church for the time being but um, hopefully very soon we will be going to church and you know being in the house of god really soon but just wanted to check in with you um um it's around 10 something i'm gonna rest for about another 30 minutes we have a notary to go do child my car is still in a dealership and come to find out they close on sundays so i won't be able to pick it up today because they're closed today so tomorrow most likely i'll work from home and catch an Uber to the dealership, get my car, and then come back home and just work the day at home. Um, work from home or whatnot. But uh, what else? And then we have our live call with the wellness group today. Um, so I'm super excited about that. And you guys are going to see one of the outfits that I bought from Shein or whatnot you guys are gonna see it today so super excited about that i'm gonna make sure um i'm gonna rest before starting my day off and i have to go back there and like find where i want to um actually do the live at or whatnot where it's a quiet and um nice aesthetically location in my home which is y'all yeah, know quiet is hard to find here Oh, well, not and aesthetically, child, catch me outside. I don't know. <laughs> but I'll check in with you guys once I'm up from bed. Just want to check in. I know it's kind of dark, but like I said, it, I'm in bed, chilling. You guys still hear my grown man voice on, which is my morning voice. So, what? Mm -mm. So, um, talk to you guys in a minute. Bye.
Hey, goddesses and queens. So we are finally in the car. Y'all, I was trying to see what dupe this is, but I can't find it. If y'all... Y'all know what dupe this is. I know which vlog I gotta go to to find out what dupe it is, but I was trying to look for it online. But I got my she in dupe. Mm. <laughs> I got my she in dupe. We on our way to um, the notary appointment, which is like, we're like, like five minutes away. Um, let me text the person. And um, yeah, so let me say five. But yeah, so just wanted to check in finally out the bed, and I'll check in with you guys when we are done from doing notary. Talk to you guys later. Hey y'all! All right, so we just finished the notary, and now I'm at Publix because I'm gonna do like a little brunch, easy little brunch at the house. Nothing too crazy. Um, I'm finna, um, we already had some waffles, so I'm finna go ahead and buy some chicken wings, get some chicken wings, hey, <laughs> girl, not the white man playing with me, get some chicken wings, um, what else, get some chicken wings, the hubby want omelet, so I'm finna get some onions, some bell peppers, some mushrooms, stuff like that. And damn, let me call y'all back. It's packed as fuck today. All right, y'all. So the the damn ain't no chicken wings ready yet. So that kind of throws off my plan. So we're gonna get our produce. I'm not picking that up. Child, the whole produce just fell. And I'm not picking that up. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on, but Publix is super, super packed today. But I want, um, I want a good ass avocado toast. The bad thing about getting avocado. You can't get it the same day that you want to eat it. You got to get it a couple of days prior to. So, um, you can actually enjoy it. To give the avocado some time to, to ripe. Hold on, let me put y'all down. I don't know what it is, but I feel nervous as hell today. Oh, y'all know what it is? It's a damn, um, it's a damn Jaguars game today. And everybody trying to get their little shit for the game. That's why it's so packed today. I'm like, damn, Publix is super packed. I want it. I want it. Some bell pepper. I'm gonna bring y'all closer. Some herbs, some mash mushrooms. Some bell pepper. We got eggs. We got onions. That. Is. Child, let me go to let me go order some boxes of wings because girl it's none up there so let me call y'all right back <laughs> 